Welcome back everybody, Farm Dog here. Continuing around on my playthrough. We have to get to the farm. Huh. And we just died to the stupid taken. And I'm not hundred percent sure we can make it to this stupid farm. But there is a lot of taken. And a lot of traps. God damn it. Motherfucker, are you serious right now? Heal up. I don't want to run to that because I think that once I chew. Everything will respawn. I hardly have any ammo. Oh, and these freaking things. I think that damn. Axe is moving the air. Heat sinking. Axes. The tra fucking trails here are hard to follow. Oh, come on. Come on, get to the light, dude. Get to the light. Oh, heal. Oh my god. Sometimes you just gotta run for it. What am I focusing on? I could on? see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Any goodins over there? There is not. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny! You're not! Ah! Uh. Please! Ah! What, what are you? What are you? Ah! No! No! I'm sorry! Ah! Ah! Batteries. <laughs> I don't want to investigate the cabin anymore. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. Oh, there's no light. You can't see anything. It. They're in the loony bin. Uh, my buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie. Uh, the best friend's something bad guy who, who wrote this. Crap. All right, well, anyway. first of all, it's no longer the loony bin. We discussed that earlier. And I wrote this crap. <laughs> and I'm hitting the door. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness.
this will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape. Okay, I'm not liking next. this. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. All right, did this dude die? His last uh, dying breath. <laughs> He sure didn't have a lot to say for somebody who's so, oh, so close to death. Are you kidding me? Shit, about time. Yes, Danny, huh? The front door was locked. Yeah. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh, hey, all right. I saw that. No pages or anything up here. Yep, there's one. In the light. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, <laughs> but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. So he wrote himself in knowing he'd be uh, I don't know, a victim I guess that's what it kind of seemed like to me oh I thought that was a person <laughs> it was a deer but all that meat's gonna go to waste uh. Flare, I will take it. Get a nice back strap out of there. Yum, yum. I'm not done yet. trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. I'm not gonna argue with that. and get back in there. Should always... It's under the tarp. I should have checked in there, dude. Oh, 
farm is that way, but what's up here? Am I getting stuck in the mud? Bangs. Am I skipping ahead of the story here going this way? I kind of feel like maybe I am. Check it, don't you? It's a lot of cars running around here. Or maybe I'm going the right way and I want to turn there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's switch the hunting rifle. Let's see how much. Yeah, there's more shells. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. But pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department is still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so it is. Talking about Alice? Oh. Nope. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, now I can't. Here we go. Get in that car. doesn't turn very well, does it? <laughs> I know there's another road back there. Probably should have waited and seen what it was. Oh. I did a big old circle. Look at my, <laughs> my poor truck. Oh no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Get in there. 
Thermos ain't worth that. The truck's on fire. <laughs> I'm not looking to 100% this trophies anyway, so... I don't even know how he can see. <laughs> I'm stuck. Back up. Shit. <laughs> Flashbang. Rifle, please. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm guessing I was going to end there, anyways. Come on, let's get to the checkpoint, please. Checkpoint. How the hell did Barry make it this far then? Okay, here we go. No, that ain't it right, is it? Didn't I come from that way? I need to go in there though, don't I? The point of no return. Is there anything in here? Don't get your head cut off by a freaking wooden windmill. There does oh oh does not appear to be anything. If this was Assassin's Creed, then you'd have to climb up that to the roof to be something. Alright, goodies. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Flare gun, my favorite. No. Oh, I got six of them. That's probably not a good sign. Oh, God damn it. Pretty sure I tried to reload there. Their bleachers. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. Ah, that's right. But it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Help! 
<laughs> That's great. That might be in subtle though, huh? Duty Lantern, I'll take it. Yes! Here we go! Belly wheeler to the rescue! No! Damn it! That damn turn is firing! I'll get the working again, I promise! Second. More than welcome to pick it up whenever you want, dude. There you go. Hoss needs that. There you go. There you go, big hoss. Oh shit. Really? Dude, I just need you to shut up and get the damn lights going. That's the high point of my life? Really? Children of the Elder God! Enjoy it! God damn it! Oh. Reload faster, please. Hope there wasn't anything important in there. Defend the stage still. <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Let's get some goodies here. Need rifle ammo. Some flashbangs. Coffee thermos. No, I don't need that. It's full. Any manuscripts out there? I don't really see anything. That look like shotgun ammo to me, but okay. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Yeah, I got it, dude. 
See, look at that manuscript page. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. I think everybody's patience with that weirdo Fed is running out. Freaky ass scarecrow. If nothing else, we can come in here and get some booze. Get wasted before we die. Right there. There we go. That's a windmill. See that? From an earlier episode. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> There we go. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get Can my I shoot way, you? I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very... Let's use it. Yes. Right now, nope. I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? <laughs> Sleep. Yeah. We all spend oh, time oh, in our night dreams. Night Man, so it's back to memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Oh, now we know why Night Springs is popping up. Something shiny there. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Ah. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, <laughs> hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. So that's what happened to the old boys. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. They were drinking water right out of the lake. Break the door, a bunch of taken coming in.
the Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok tour. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury. I'm not going to read all that. But, I see uh, bog and shit setting in. Flashlight does get them faster, but you know what that's telling me is that there's probably more powerful ones around. <laughs> hey, did you run away already? You want me you gotta come in this chicken coop, bitch. Come on. Come on, you nightcrawler motherfucker. Barry, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Barry? Truck, get the hell out of the way. Reload. Come on, flashlight. <laughs> Charge fat. You know what? I got a battery. Where the hell did Barry go? Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll talk to you all later.